I want to talk a little bit about using pages in Canvas. Um, one of the things though I want to point out before I take you to my Canvas page is to keep in mind that um, this is not an online course. I mean, none of my courses are approved as online courses. My courses are remote. And the only reason I point this out is that it, they're not meant to be asynchronous. So everything that I'm showing is um, mostly keeping in mind that the students are doing this on a particular time schedule. Okay, so just to keep that in the back of your mind. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to show you is what my Canvas pages look like. And one of the reasons I'm showing this is just that whenever I'm teaching any course, the first thing that I'm thinking about is what are the students going to see? So like even if I'm teaching on campus, I'm thinking about what does the classroom look like? Or what do the chairs look like? When they're sitting, are they sitting next to each other? Can they, how are they gonna share with one another? So when I'm thinking about that physical space, um, I'm keeping in mind all those different things. When they're looking at me, what am I there for? What do they want from me? And so when I'm thinking about Canvas, I'm thinking about it in exactly the same way. This is my classroom. So what does it look like when the students walk in? What do they see? Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how I use my uh, Canvas to um, sort of promote this. So you notice when you come in, I've got my little uh, Canvas, my course cards, and all of them are cheerful looking. So each one of them, and this was like, it's super easy. You know, I know you've been talking about Canva. Uh, Canva is a good way that you can make these little cards in there, but I just did this on Word. So I just had these little pictures that I used and I kind of cut and pasted them and I used the, uh, the snippet on, um, uh, you know, on my computer. I have to say that has been the greatest thing that I have um, been using all this semester is how to cut things from uh, my screen, you know, from my screen to put into my canvas, of course. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier because I had been drawing things, you know, all by hand, but just cutting it's been, uh, uh, anyway. But I got these cute little pictures that are on here so that the students, when they see it, they know that I've kind of put a little bit of, um, I guess, humanization into this so that they know that uh, there's someone behind this. And, and, Keep in mind, again, mo all of my students so far have met me. And so they know kind of what I'm like. But one of the other reasons is that it's physics. Physics can be a little intimidating. And so I like to make it look not intimidating. Okay, but anyway, I have, um, when I'm organizing my course, uh, this is my uh, physical science for uh, elementary education course. And th this is my, uh, uh, page that I use this is the home page. This is the last unit that I did. Now, look at this. Don't you want to take this course? Look how cute it is. You've got, I know, you've got these great little, and this is exactly when I think about what is this topic about, this is what this topic is about. So I took these little boxes. These all came from, um, if you haven't looked at it already, there's something called the, uh, the commons. And in the commons, there are places where you can steal, like, and I don't wanna say steal, but you can take um, just uh, pick, not pictures, that's not the word I want, but style elements. So, you know, you don't know how to make a box. You can just grab a box from there and then you just edit it however you want to. So I've got these cute little boxes in here and these pictures, this just came from Flickr. So I just went in here when I was creating this page and it said, do you want to put in a picture? And I said, yes. And I put in uh, chemistry and uh, this was a picture that came up and again, super cute. And it really just shows up exactly what this whole unit is about. And I do a lot actually with pictures in each of the units that I do. Um, I usually have an inspirational photo to give students a good idea of what is the whole, what's the whole unit supposed to be about. And they're usually something crazy. But anyway, um, this is what my pages look like. This is because I said before, these are synchronous for the most part. So the way I've got this set up is I've got each of these as a, a unit and each unit has different weeks. And in the weeks, I've got um, uh, tabs so that the students can just click on the tab and that they can see what it is they're supposed to be doing for that week. I've got these cool icons. I made these up myself too in Word. So it really, again, not a big deal. And then this icon means uh, lecturing. And we talked about this yesterday that each of the um, icons that are in here, they also have the, the backup um, text and it says lecture so that the students know that, you know, the students that see it know that that's what that icon is, but it also for the readers will read that that's what that icon is. 
Okay, but it alerts the students, look, I've got this is what the um, uh, lecture is, this is what you're turning in, this is the turn in sort of icon. There's also one for discussion, there's one, there's a, one that really pops out that's a time quiz, and it really, it pops out. Anyway, and I have on here, um, again, just uh, mostly using the tabs. Uh, tabs are not too difficult to work with, but um, they can be a little bit, they can be a little bit finicky, but uh, this was just a good way to sort of organize everything. And again, kind of thought about it beforehand, you know, what did I think was gonna be the best? Um, just to pop over for a second, I wanna show one more look at uh, using pages. Um, this is my physical, this is my physics course. This is for uh, still non-science majors. I mostly teach uh, non-physics majors. Um, so all of them are kind of, again, kind of a welcoming sort of thing. One of the other things is that when I'm writing, I always kind of write in the first per person so that the students know, again, it's from me. So it's more kind of a talky thing. So it's like, look at this, ah, we're on the last unit. And, you know, I'm so proud of you. And, and I tell them stuff like that all the time to make them, you know, realize, again, I'm pulling for them, I'm out there. Um, this is actually a double use of um, tabs. I would not suggest this, this was a pain. Um, <laughs> I started doing it this way and uh, really uh, wish I hadn't, but it is a good way that it can to organize things where it just says, here's the week. This is what they're doing every week. So if they want to know what am I doing for lab, this is what I'm doing. Um, the other thing, this particular course is pretty awesome because it has an online textbook. So the students can just click and they get over to their online textbook and they can uh, kind of come back to that. Where am I? Um, and as my uh, esteemed colleague, uh, Professor Colby always says, you want to try to keep the number of clicks as small as possible. Make sure that the students can see kind of where all the information is at. The other thing is that I like to keep them in Canvas in as much as I possibly can. So I want to make sure that they are staying here. So one of the other things I want to show you is content. Um, I have this homework assignment. My homework assignments are a little different. They're not really um, practice they're more something that they've learned about and now this is something a little bit more. So um, they are talking about waves. I talked about different kinds of waves and now I'm taking all those concepts and applying them to something new. But you notice, you know, I've got the same little style elements in my page. I've got um, pictures in here. Again, putting these in here was really not uh, difficult. You know, I've got it, uh, the text is, you know, um, situated uh, well, but anyway, what I really wanted to show, oh, equations, uh, the equation editor, super easy to use. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show is that there are certain places where you can embed um, animations from other places and they go right into Canvas. So I don't have to have the students go outside of Canvas to see this, it's right here. And so when they're clicking on it, it's right in there. So I've got these readings, they're reading along. And then I get to the end and I have a little question because I don't want them just to read quickly. I want them to stop. So I ask a question. This one um, only had, they both the answers are correct. So it doesn't really matter. But in some of the other ones, if the answers are not correct, it um, says, no, oh, I'm sorry, go back and try again. And then they click back and they try again. This one, it just takes them to the next one. But I love this particular uh, embedded animation. This are, these are the FedM animations. These are great. And the fact that they embed in Canvas is just so super awesome. I can't even tell you. So the students can be here using these animations and they don't have to leave. They're just right here. Okay, and then the end, I have them take a little homework quiz and uh, that's sort of the end of that. But what I like about this is I, I love Canvas and I love these pages because they are, there are so many things that you can do with them. And there's so many ways that you can kind of organize things um, and thinking about, again, how the students are seeing what they, um, what these things look like. Anyway, so I just wanted to uh, stop and uh, show that a little bit.